Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. We got another review from the Milata Wireless Omni Condenser Microphone Set. Now this is a wireless lavalier microphone set. I did a previous review on the WM10. This is the WM12 updated model. Now, this is not for sale in the United States yet. They are available in China, but if you leave me a message below in the comments, I can see if I can get you a set. We can sell them on eBay or anything like that. If you want to pick up the WM10 version, or if you want to do the WM12, and I'm going to show you the difference between the WM10 that we had before and the WM12. Now, the biggest difference between this, the new WM12, is that it's one receiver with four transmitters. It's one receiver and four microphones. Before, it was only one receiver with two microphones. This set has four microphones all going to one receiver. So we'll open up the case and take a look at all the microphones and the stuff that comes along with it. Now I'm not going to get too technical with the functions of these microphones. I'm going to show you kind of the features and the differences with the new four microphone one receiver versus the two microphones one receiver. Uh, if you really want more in-depth of what's going on with audio, you can check out my other videos and we'll talk more about audio and plugging in and how, what adapters you can use or XLR cables, quarter inch uh, inputs and things like that. But today we're mostly just going to talk about this new updated version from the Milata wireless set. So this is a UHF microphone set of course and this is a like I said a lava layer wireless microphone that I'm using now. Um, so right out the case, we're gonna see that you have your receiver and your four transmitters. Now the biggest difference in this set is that it does not use AA batteries. Like the WM10, it uses just standard AA batteries as power. These have an internal lithium ion battery system. You plug them in with a micro USB port and charge them up to full full power and then as they run out of power that's kind of a downside of these microphones but if you only have two person uh, interview set up then you can just easily swap for another microphone that's already charged up but I do like the fact that you don't have to carry around extra batteries and all that that this is all self-contained and if you're a run and gun shooter, you can just throw these in your kit, run around all day and shoot with these mics. Okay, so let's take a look at them. You have your receiver here. And your four microphone transmitters. So I'm gonna set these up here. We're gonna only play with one. So first off, one of the biggest differences is this new hot shoe mount, which is different than the WM10. So this is just a little bit different setup here. You take your hot shoe mount here, pull your bracket up, slide until it clicks, and then it's in place. Just a little bit different mounting setup that you have with these new wireless mics and we'll kind of turn them on and see what's going on. So you have your power button here. The same up here, you have your headphones for monitor and you have your output that's your out from your receiver to your camera. And again, this is 3.5 millimeter, eighth inch jack with the lockdown screws. And you can go 3.5 millimeter to your DSLR camera, or you can you can do the 3.5 millimeter to your XLR cable, like we spoke about before. 
and then automatically you have your your different channels for your transmitters channel one two three four and actually i think this goes a b c and d so we'll go ahead and power on our transmitter here now with these new systems they should sync up automatically so when you change the the channels on the uhf and the frequency this should automatically update to the same frequency. As you can see here, we have channel C. Channel C transmitter. And as you can see here, A, B, C. You can see that C transmitter is connected to your receiver. Okay. Here we can change our frequency. So we'll go ahead, let's just change. Just go ahead and change the frequency, and then hold down. And then you'll see on your receiver that's still connected to channel C there. Now we'll see what other goodies they sent in the box. So in this kit here, you get your four microphones. Omni condenser lavalier microphone for each one of your your transmitters. And in this other set, you'll have your adapters and connections. So you have you have your five charging USB. They also send you the 3.5 eighth inch jack with the lockdown thread. So you put that in your out there. Lock down and screw tight. Now this kit does seem to be more of a DSLR component of a kit than the WM10, which is not that big of a deal. Uh, what they don't send to you is the 3.5 threaded lock to the XLR cable like I've shown you in previous videos. But that you can buy that if you look around enough places you will find it you'll probably find it on amazon or something like that and then they also send you this cn20 adapter this is for mobile devices ipads iphones android devices plug that into your 3.5 millimeter jack and then plug this into your receiver here just like this so if you're going to use a mobile device you plug that in there and then you have your mobile device to work as a recording deck or a mixer if you have the right application. This is a nice little piece just to, to use your kit in various ways if you want to do audio recording on your phone or you're shooting video on your phone and you need better audio. This is a great little piece to have on top of it. Uh, I am disappointed that it does not include the XLR adapter. Um, I have other XLR adapters, but I, I was hoping that this one would have its own XLR adapter too, just so you could use it on more high-end, more professional cameras. Um, so we'll, we'll go ahead and turn on the receivers here, and we'll watch them all power up. We'll take a look at the transmitter. See, these all come on different frequencies. So when you start these up, they'll have their own frequency. So as you can see on your receiver here, we've turned in all the transmitters. And each transmitter has its own range of frequencies. So if you get interference, you just hit your button here. 
then you change the frequency. And then it automatically updates on your receiver here. Now each one has its own different frequency settings. So this is in the 400 range, this is the 530, this is a 510, and this is like 500, 502, and lower. So you change your frequencies here on each one if you're getting interference, and then it automatically connects back to your receiver here. As you can see, each one of these is connected to this receiver. When you see the bars here, that lets you know that you're connected to your receiver. So we'll kind of turn one on. Um, we'll plug up the microphone here and we'll just do a quick little test on this. Again, like I said, I don't want to get into anything too technical with these because if you need to know how to hook these up to different cameras and stuff like that, you can check out my other video on a lot of wireless microphones where we'll go more in depth on how to work with these different types of wireless microphones. Um, pretty much basically the same, except you get four channels out of this one receiver. So you don't have to take around two different kits. Uh, before I was going around with two different WM10 kits, which was two different receivers and four different wireless kits. Another difference between these and the WM10s is that you don't get your audio levels on the LCD screen as you did before. You'd have to fully monitor this in a mixer or, or on your camera. Uh, this is mainly meant for to put into some kind of mixer and then you have four channel audio and then you can actually mix from there and turn the levels up and down individually. I'm really happy with the quality audio with these. There's very little noise in the background and these are just all in all a great item to put in your kit. Now they're not for sale in the US yet. We're working on that. We're working on getting them on Amazon and first off eBay. So if you are interested in purchasing a set, just hit the comment below, let me know. I'll send you a link to the eBay store where you can purchase those. But these are phenomenal for your kit in any budget filmmaker. This is the way to go. You don't have to spend a fortune buying high-end Sony and name brand Sennheiser equipment. You can get by just fine working with this kind of microphone set. Uh, the sound quality is going to be just as good as what you're gonna get out of a Sennheiser. Uh, as I say, I do very little tweaking to the audio, so what you hear is what you get. So look for our videos in the future where we talk more about the Milata wireless microphone sets, or if you're interested in purchasing, let me know. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button below if you enjoyed this video and you can watch some of my other videos where we talk about budget filmmaking, lighting, good lighting, uh, video monitors, and everything to do with small budget production films, YouTube videos, documentary films. You don't need a big crew to do all this. You can actually shoot all your videos any way you want with just the right equipment and the right budget. Thank you for watching.